All right, so now that we installed our antenna tips, we're on step four. Step four is going to be pairing the sensor and the controller. Um, as you see here, we're at the controller. It's flashing from the bottom to the top. All three lights are flashing. That means it's in pairing mode. That's exactly where we want it to be. Now we're gonna go to the sensor in the pool and we're gonna actually engage it into the pairing process. All right, so now that we got the valve controller plugged in, scrolling, looking for a sensor to pair with, we actually have the sensor here. The magnet is stuck to it as it comes shipped. Um, what we're gonna do here is we actually looked at the pool. We figured out that this is where we want to install the, skimmer, the sensor in this skimmer here. It's close by, it's not gonna be facing the antenna, but that's okay. As long as the antenna um, is kind of, can kind of see the pool, we're in good shape. So we're gonna put on the entryway to the skimmer here, the skimmer throat. Um, we're gonna put it on the flat surface there, but we wanna make sure that it's going to pair with the controller as it sits right here. So we're actually gonna remove the magnet and we're gonna see three green flashes out of the little dot at the top. Three green flashes, that means it's engaged into the pairing process now. We're actually going to go back to the controller and we're going to see it in its pairing mode. We've removed the magnet from the sensor in, at the pool. You got the three flashes from the sensor at the pool and now it's engaged into the pairing process here. You can see it on the action LED. Action LED is flashing every second. The first 30 flashes are all one second apart. Each flash after that is going to be four seconds apart. It may be a second or two later during the calibration process at the back half of the pairing process. That's totally okay. Um, what we're looking for after two and a half minutes of the pairing process is going to be a solid green sensor LED. The sensor LED indicates a successful pairing. If, if it's not a successful pairing, one of two things are going to happen. It's going to go back into the pairing mode, from, which is scrolling from the bottom to the top, or it's going to be a solid action LED where it's not flashing for, you know, for, for 30 seconds or so. Um, and so what we see here is it's still going through the process. Um, we're looking for a solid green sensor light in about two and a half minutes. All right, so now we actually have a solid green sensor LED. It was a successful pairing. Uh, the placement of the sensor in that skimmer that we decided on at the pool is going to be a good place to install the sensor. So now we're going to go move on to step five.